for someone who's never done that, it might feel like, well, where do I even start? My mm. life's not interesting. Or what does that mean? Mm. Yeah, great question. So I think in, in uh, the way I kind of interpret this question, Michael, is how do I tell my story? Right? Uh, how, do, how do I do it if I don't necessarily know what's interesting and what's not? And to me, it's <laughs> there's there's a couple markers. The the first one I think that I lean on all the time is story structure. If you know story structure, that's like 80% of the battle, right? And story structure is if you're the hero, if you're the thought leader, it's um once upon a time the hero was this. And every day the hero did this. So it's once upon a time in every day until one day this thing happened, this massive shift, this change happened that, that caused the hero to uproot or, or to change how they viewed the world. And because of that, and because of that, and because of that, you do that a few times until finally some resolution is reached. And ever since that day, the new world has emerged, right? And so every great story falls into that story structure, every hero's journey, right? Wow. Whether it's Harry Potter, that was whether- beautiful. That, Thank the you. way you phrase it, I've never heard it phrased that way. Yeah, it's Pixar's formula. And so Pixar is, you know, arguably the best storytellers on the planet, right? And so every story falls into that. And I guarantee you, if you're listening to this, your story falls into that. And you were sent on some journey at some point where you faced trials, you faced crises, and you had to overcome these challenges. And until finally, you know, you slayed the dragon. And ever since that day, your life has been so-and-so. And so I think that really is 80% of the battle um, is establishing who the character is, what your everyday looks like, and ideally giving yourself some vulnerable trait, right? So I did, I did a video earlier this year on uh, our scribe CEO named Javon McCormick. And at the beginning of the video, I knew this video was going to go viral um, because at the beginning of the video, the first line is, shows, it shows him kind of taking notes. And the first line is, this man was homeless when he was a student. The next shot, it shows him handing a book to somebody. He just signed his own book. And so his high school teacher came to see him speak. And at the beginning of that video, I establish um, the, this, this entrepreneur grew up determined to be successful, but when he was a kid, he faced racism. He uh, faced horrible abuse and he was even homeless. He, things got so bad, he even went to juvenile three times. And so I'm establishing hard that like, even though this guy is the hero of the story, he is human. He is, he's been through pain and he is vulnerable. And, um, you know, I show him as a kid. And 